Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. When we left off, I built some mine themed stuff on this mountain. So now it's time to continue with that by adding some barrels on both sides of this lift hill. As I've mentioned earlier, this is the last episode with pre recorded footage. So from the next episode onward, it should be live commentary while playing. Unfortunately though, there has been a small snafu with recording in the future because my stupid headset went and stopped working suddenly. Or actually it didn't stop working uh, completely, only the speakers or headphone part of it stopped working. The microphone still works, but I can't hear anything from the speakers themselves. So recording with that is gonna be a bit complicated because I have to have another set of headphones on my ears to hear the game sounds and then the uh, headset thing around my neck so the microphone can record. More on that in a bit. First we have a little edit coming up so you don't have to watch me placing all these bushes and cacti on the hill here. Now the excitement rating has gone up once again to 7.81. What really sucks about the headset breaking down is that it was only a few weeks after the one year warranty had ended. Although the uh, manufacturer gives it a two year warranty so I've contacted both the store and manufacturer so hopefully either one of them can fix it for free or at a small cost. In the meantime, I've uh, jury-rigged my really old headset microphone to record. It's actually quite funny, the headset which I for some reason had saved, even though it literally fell apart on me. <laughs> the uh, bar thing that holds the earphone pieces and microphone together literally fell apart. So all I have left is these earphones and uh, microphone attached to the other but the microphone still works <laughs> it's fine so I'm using it actually right now to record this so while the headset's being repaired I can use this solution even though it's not the most comfortable one I have like the uh, one of the ear cups tucked into my shirt and the microphone is sticking out of there towards my mouth but it's still more comfortable than having the uh, entire headset, the newer one, wrapped around my neck. Even if the repair ends up being free, I might just go ahead and get a separate desktop, mi desktop microphone because this new wireless headset that I got a few months ago and I'm also wearing right now has been really awesome in every aspect. The Sennheiser RS170, I can highly recommend it if you want quality wireless headphones. It's quite uh, expensive, but you get a lot of bang for your buck, so to speak. However, I cannot recommend the uh, Speedlink Medusa 5.1 gaming headset because it broke down two weeks after the one year guarantee was done. But that's enough chit chat about headsets and headphones, at least for a while. Let's see what I've done here. I added some uh, stone. Uh, ground thing layer whatever on the top there and a mine shaft down at the bottom and a mine hut as well and now I'm making that uh, pathway or whatever that I mentioned in the previous episode oh, and before I forget one more thing about sounds in the last few videos that I've posted I've noticed that my left nostril has been uh, making this weird wheezing sound whenever I inhale, so I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I don't think there's anything I can do about it except hold my hand to block it or something. I have no idea why it's making that. The right nostril is fine, but the left one makes this wheezing sound <laughs> when I inhale. Hopefully it won't bother you guys too much and I hope it'll go away. I don't think it was in earlier episode so must be a temporary thing so this area is starting to look pretty done 
Some more bells there, and uh, I think there's going to be one more building. Uh, it's going to be where the track goes under the ground next to that round building. And now I've placed a sign here for the barrels, and the sign is going to say barrels, of course. And then I had some kind of brain freeze there because I misspelled barrels. Uh, it's two R's and one L, I believe. But uh, soon I'm gonna think of a way to check how the spelling goes, and that is to build a coaster that has a barrel roll in it. Do a barrel roll! Do a barrel roll! Come on! There we go, barrel roll left. Yay! Two R's, one L. Demolish the temporary shit and proceed to correcting the sign. Barrels! Uh, Then I believe it's time to move that chunk and wheel a bit higher. And next proceed to add more cacti. Little edit there so you don't have to watch every single cactus being placed. Then I want to smoothen out that uh, row there. So some of the cacti will have to be replaced once again. Oh, uh, if any of you know a good uh, desktop desktop microphone, I'd be happy to heed your recommendations. Although at the moment I really can't afford any expensive models. <laughs> if anyone wants to donate money, I, I'd be happy to forward my uh, PayPal information. Anyways, I believe the time has come to start working on the last building of this area and the episode as well. So we start off with land as usual. It's going to be 3x3 uh, three three squares with uh, round pieces in the corners and straight ones in the middle. And I'm uh, lowering the land gradually, so it's easier to build if I would uh, level all of them to the same height. I would need to place much more uh, wall pieces and such. This way I need much less pieces in the uh, back sides that are facing up the mountain. So uh, now that we're this close to live recording, you guys can start making suggestions if you want on like what I should build. I already have some plans for the themed areas and such a bit, but not really for the rides except for one. And uh, that was also from a request. Someone wanted me to make a triple coaster. And I already have a... Uh, coaster type and theme picked up for that. You should of course keep in mind that I can't make every wish come true and also that it'll take time for me to be able to fill in your request because I'm going to record at least like one hour at a time and then split it up into four or three episodes or whatever is convenient. The requests, of course, don't have to be only rides. You can also suggest what I do scenery-wise, and I could also do stuff like naming guests or staff members according to your wishes. <laughs> Although I already have a name in mind for one of the entertainers. It's gonna be either uh, the Sneezing Panda or Sexual Harassment Panda from South Park. <laughs> Actually, the latter is gonna probably be what I pick because he's stationed in the uh, uh, giant garden themed area, which is kind of a kiddie area. <laughs> so he's gonna be there doing all sorts of inappropriate touching with the guests. Sexual harassment, panda. Uh, 
Alrighty then, this building is starting to come together as the rain begins to pour and lightning roar. Would be kind of cool if some rides would be uh, closed during lightning storms or too much rain. But then on the other side, wouldn't be cool because you would lose money, money, money. Speaking of which, we've got a nice 186,000, mostly thanks to that hypercoaster. Uh, at one point, I think it made maxed out at 56,000 euros per hour. I, although I edited that part out because nothing interesting really happened there. It's kind of ironic that I'm spending all this money on making scenery for this coaster, which probably makes the least, uh, least amount of money out of all the coasters because the capacity of guests per hour is so low. But at least now it looks so much better than without any scenery. The other coasters intertwine much more with themselves, so they look already look better than this without scenery. But now this is the prettiest with all them cacti and bushes and buildings and barrels and whatever begins with B. Uh, shit, I can't think of anything else. Speak of the devil, it's time for more bees as in barrels. Gonna put them in each corner of this building. They look kinda like pillars. There we go. Oops, there's some holes on this side. Should catch them up. All done. But, oh wait, there's another hole on this side. Plug that up as well. Then I'm um, once again indecisive with the color. So I'm gonna try this uh, less vibrant brown or whatever more gray in it. I think that fits better, although it lessens the variety of browns in this area. All done, and then a pointy spiky roof thing. This one fits better now because I changed the brown. I hate it that you have to lower that so you can put something in the middle. It sucks. Oh, but there's actually a trick that I could have used if I had known about it when I did this which is to hold control when you're pointing at an existing scenery piece so you know that uh, shift and control clicking uh, trick that I've talked about in a few episodes well turns out I was doing it wrong you only have to press shift to place the first one and then while pointing at the first uh, piece of roof or whatever then hold control to place objects on the same height as that piece, so I probably could have used that trick on this. Or I'm not sure, maybe not because it's one block higher than the roof, so it might have not worked. But anyway, disregard everything that I've said about holding shift and control. You only need to hold shift for the first piece and then control for the next pieces as long as they're on the same level or as long as you want them on the same level to be precise. I'll give you guys a proper demonstration when I get to live recording and give credit to whoever that uh, told me about this. I don't remember the username right now but I'll find it. And uh, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah I think I someone told me about this trick like a year or two or three or whatever ago but then I totally forgot about it because I wasn't playing roller coaster tycoon one or two or any number at that time at all so I must have totally forgotten about it it's a good thing someone someone mentioned it so now I know about it when I am actually playing but enough about that let's get back to what's happening in the video I've decided to make a sort of transitional time warp section here like uh, 
when you go up the lift hill the time warp is initialized at the edge of this uh, mine themed area but then it's not working properly at first so you go through this random area with stuff from different time periods like Roman, Egyptian, Asian and and there's also gonna be uh, some dinosaurs and things like that so the time warp is going haywire for a few squares but then after that it actually works and you end up in the wild west area in a place a uh, stegosaur or whatever that's called with the plates on his back and then a tall wooden fence around them um, some bones them bones them bones them dry the bones the anchor bones connected to the uh, bone and the bones connected to the I forget what bone bone doom bam bam that's a car commercial I think from a few years back Roman walls and then some more cacti and I'm also gonna place a sign eventually on that uh, tall wooden fence more bees for bushes everywhere gotta love bushes and then the sign can really place post there because there's already a fence so I think I'm just gonna end up having it uh, attached only from one side like to the fence like show and it's going to say with yellow text I believe time warp complete And change the color of the first time to red. More menacing. Time warp initialized. Or initializing, yeah, that's what it says. Because I changed it. And then I'm changing these geometric sculptures for bald, bald ones. Tetra, tetra something, whatever those are called, I don't know. Then some different land textures for the uh, initialization area some of that grass mixed with dirt thing on my bob and then a separate color for this area the initialization station finding that perfect color combo takes time as usual but eventually it's gonna be uh, white support, black rails and sort of electric blue whatever thing color in the middle this episode is nearing completion so while I contemplate the colors let's talk about what to expect next as I mentioned it's gonna be live recording for the commentary recorded while actually playing instead of afterwards but uh, I haven't recorded the videos yet, so I can't tell you what to expect except for me doing a list of corrections that I've racked up while doing these videos. So I'll see you there.